Our most recent trip went to West Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, we've got a client who was a really successful business operator. He and his partner over the last 20 or 30 years built up a really successful business. They were able to sell that company and they had a really big capital gain and they wanted to use opportunity zones to shelter some of that gain, um, defer the gain, and then going forward, protect themselves a little bit better than just paying a bunch of capital gains tax. So what we've been able to do over the last couple of years is really kind of research and target a lot of the best areas to utilize for opportunity zones. So we ended up in West Lafayette, Indiana, because as many of you already know, it's close to Purdue University. And we were able to find a corporate backed 10 year lease, brand new construction property that is on the edge of the Purdue Innovation Area, which is about a two miles uh, radius around the university where a lot of top technology companies are located. Our client purchased a long-term double net lease opportunity where they were able to defer their capital gains until 2027. And then on a go forward basis, if they hold the property for more than 10 years, all of their appreciation, all of their depreciation um, is gonna be, it won't be taxed because of the opportunity zone provisions. So why did we pick a state like Indiana? Well, we picked a state like Indiana because Indiana lines up with the federal approach to opportunity zones as opposed to states like California that don't view opportunity zones, or at least from a state tax perspective, don't grant the opportunity zone provisions and, and opportunities. So our client who's now uh, resides out of state went to a state that viewed opportunity zones more favorably. They were able to get a, like I said, a long-term lease with a really great corporate back tenant. Within a quarter mile of this property in West Lafayette, Indiana, there is a brand new Meyer, which is the big kind of department store target of the Midwest. Um, there is a Menards hardware store, which Menards is the third largest. Um, hardware chain in the country and the largest throughout the Midwest um, and a beautiful brand new shopping center that's also in the same opportunity zone as the caliber collision that our client was able to purchase. You know, my biggest takeaway from some of these travels that we've been able to do is that there are fantastic opportunities outside of California. And while some of the laws, it's a changing landscape for California investors, that whether it's through a 1031 exchange or an opportunity zone to avoid capital gains from the sale of a business or the sale of a piece of art or something significant like that, is that there are a lot of really good out of state markets that have very good demographics, lots of young people, lots of college educated, good income. Um, and this West Lafayette transaction is gonna be another one of the many that we did in 2022 that have helped our clients move out of California, get high quality property and make great returns.